Welcome back. In our previous lecture, we set up our basic interface by creating a panel using right click UI panel, and then we created a text object and we created a button. And so now we're going to create our first finite state machine in Playmaker. And we're going to do that by coming here to our panel and we're going to change this to stay store panel. So we're real clear that this is our panel for our store and this is where our main state machine is going to go to get started. And so from there we can come up here to Playmaker and choose the Playmaker editor and we need to close this. We can just get rid of that so it won't show that anymore. And notice how it says right click to add a FSM which means finite state machine and just make sure that store panel is selected here and right click here and choose add finite state machine and with that we have our first state and so what we want to do is when we click our buy button we want to update a variable that's going to keep track of our of our store so let's go ahead and first wire up so that when we click that button we can make something happen here so I'm just gonna name this state game running for now and what we want to do is create an event for that button so we come here and we'll say click buy store so we know that when they click that this is the, the the button we want to fire off this event we can add a transition here now by right clicking this object add transition and choose click buy store so what we're going to do is when this happens we want to go to another state that's actually going to buy the store so let's create another state here called buy store and this is what's going to fire off when we click the button. So we're going to go from here and we can just click and hold to drag this over to our buy store state. Now we're going to do some actions here um, inside of our buy store and when we're done we're going to finish and we can choose by this by going right clicking and choosing add transition and then choose finished and clicking and dragging that back into our game running state. So this is a really simple state change. We're going to click the button to buy the store. We're going to do what we need to do to buy the store. And then we're going to come back to our game running again. So let's see how now we can set that up in our buy button. So we click on our button here and we come down and we see that there's an on click uh, for our button so let's go ahead and click this add the list to add an event for our on click now from there notice that it says it wants to know what object we need to notify when we click this button well we know that we need to notify this store panel so we can just click and drag this right into here just like that under our no function we want to click this just with a left click and come down here to playmaker fsm and you'll see that we have a whole bunch of options here but the one that we want is send event now you get extra bonus points if you can guess what this send event needs to be in here we can come back up here to store panel and check we want it to be click by store. So I come back here again to our button and just type it in here. Click by store. And so what we're telling the framework here is when this buy button is clicked, we're going to fire off this on click event in our store panel. And we've said that we want to send an event to our Playmaker state machine, click buy store. Playmaker is going to pick that up right here, click buy store, and you're going to see it fire off this state. So we can test this out right now. 
we click play. Notice how that we got it in the green here, game running. When I click buy, notice the green flash here. I'll do it again. See how the green flashes when I click the buy button. That means our event is working. Our button is actually calling this state and doing what we want to do. So it seems like a small thing, but we've already accomplished some of the core processes of creating a state machine. We've set up our initial state here where the game is running and it's going to stay in that state automatically for us. We don't have to worry about creating game loops or any complex coding to get the game running. It's automatically in this state. We've set, we created an event called click buy store over here under this tab we created this event click buy store and when it fires off it runs this state here buy store now even though there's no actions in here we can still see that it works and then finally to make it actually work we went here to our button and we wired up our on click event to call that event inside of our finite state machine so that's going to end this lecture and in our next lecture we're going to actually see how to create a global variable and actually update that variable and show and I shouldn't say global variable we're going to create a local variable and we're going to show how to update that and keep track of how many stores we own and that'll be in the next lecture